So as a medical doctor, you're on your way to creating wealth and building wealth. And we have uh, formalized a six step process to get you from where you are as final year student and you're just starting in the working environment all the way to creating wealth. So there's basically six steps to follow. And I mentioned the word journey because it is really like a journey. So just think of it, maybe you're in Johannesburg right now and you want to go to Cape Town. So what is the very first thing you do when you are on any journey? Before you type in on the GPS where you want to go, the GPS wants to know where you currently are. So that's step number one, know where you are. And in a financial sense, how do we know where we currently are? So basic thing we do is we take your assets minus your liabilities. And that give us your net worth. Now for most of you, if you're in the final year medical um, stu as a student, your net worth will basically be zero or even in the minus. Because at the moment, you might not have a lot of assets, but you, and you might have some li liability. So let's quickly look, what is an asset? An asset is anything you can sell that's got a worth to it. You can sell it for money. So if you've maybe got property, if you've got a car, for, for this example, we use a car as an asset. If you've got investments already that your parents might have opened for you, um, if you've got a little bit side business already, that is an asset. So we take your asset and we minus liabilities. What's a liability? That's any debt you might have at the moment. So maybe you're owing your parents um, some money. Maybe you have a student loan debt that you need to pay off. Maybe credit card debt or that clothing account debt that um, uh, some of you might have as well. So we take your assets, we minus your liabilities, and that gives you your net worth at this moment. Why is it important? Because on this journey, your net worth must increase. If your net worth doesn't increase year by year, you are not moving forward and the financial advisor are not doing um, his work because you're staying in the same place. Because a lot of people make the mistakes, they earn more next year, but if your expenses keep up with your income, you're staying at the same place. So the year after that they're earning more, but the expenses are more, so their net worth stay exactly at the same place. So with our clients, we make sure that their net worth increases, either by first paying off their liabilities, but also increasing their assets. So the first step is we're just gonna see where we currently are, and then from there on, we can continue the journey into our next step. So the next step is know where you are going. We mentioned on this journey to Cape Town, from Pretoria to Cape Town, you put in the GPS wants to know where you are and then you type in where do you want to go? VNA Waterfront Cape Town uh, or Tigerberg Hospital Cape Town. So that is the next step. So step number two, step number two is know where you are. Ooh, scooching, going. So step number two is you have to know where you are going. And in a financial sense, how do we do that? We do that by stating your short, medium, and long-term financial goals. Okay, so what's an example of a short-term financial goal? So short-term is everything from one month to 12 months. So if you think about next year, what is your goal? Your first goal might be to pay off your debt, maybe to buy a new car, maybe just to start an emergency fund, and maybe you want to are planning a wedding, or I know a lot of you want to travel next year, that's great. We make sure that we put that into your shorter term goals. Then we get to your medium term goals. Your medium term goals, that's anything from one year to three years, and that might be to perhaps buy a property, to perhaps open a side business, or to invest as much as possible, because you want to start your own practice in about three to five years time. Maybe you're thinking about specializing and you need a portion of money um, build up already. Or perhaps you are thinking of traveling or maybe working abroad for a couple of years. All of that are good short-term goals, oh, medium-term goals, and we must make sure that when we get to your investments in step number five, that they speak to these short, medium, and long-term goals. And then long-term examples of long-term goals, financial goals, 
that will be saving enough for retirement or perhaps to be financially free where you have enough assets and investments to pay you an additional income. So just once again to recap, step number one, know where you financially are. Then step number two, know where you are going. And uh, in the next video, my colleague Ruvan will take you through steps number three and four on this journey to financial freedom. If you've got any questions, please comment below and we will answer that in the Q&A section. Cheers.